somebody from each institution just wants to say a sentence or two about about this, maybe Shane, starting with you. You need to be more direct of what you need me to say and for how long. <laughs> no, I don't. Did you not learn anything on this journey about leadership? Come now. <laughs> Absolutely zero. <laughs> what I will say is that working with the two uh, partners that we do in Gibbs and Henley, you guys have become friends to stand it back. Um, it has been the most wonderful, amazing, crazy journey uh, from module one when I looked at Jill in the bus and I mouthed to her, we're both going to get fired, <laughs> to finding amazing stuff under her bed at the sleep out, to wondering whether we're going to wake delegates up with stun grenades, um, to deep, amazing, personal transformational stories that when we tell them, we still cry. And the impact that that has had on our people at the bank and the, the impact that they are having at the bank is just phenomenal. So a deep, heartfelt thanks to our team at Santa Bank and to every single person from both institutions that has been involved in any way. You have no idea of the impact that you've made on our people's lives and on our lives and on my life in particular. So thank you to every single one of you. Um, I, I just wanted to echo what Linda said at the beginning that Shane is the reason um, we're all on this call together. And what he did was, you know, learning sometimes comes because we choose, but sometimes it's because people push you out of your comfort zone. And when Shane chose to say, I'm having a vision and I see you two <laughs> um, institutions being able to bring this to life. Um, I think that was um, a marvelous point and, I, and I'm grateful that he chose um, Henley and us to be able to do that. Um, Dick Mazaro talks about the importance of transformative learning and the fact that it's about reframing our point of reference and our paradigms. And I think that's what Shane wanted to do and that he trusted us with that from that, that co-design process up until now is a gift in time. So thank you very much, Shane, for that. And thank you, Henley, for um, the collaborative work that, that has brought us to this place. And I'd love to say something. And, and Shane, thank you so much, I mean, for trusting in us and, and, uh, and all uh, my Gibbs colleagues and friends. Thank you so much. And um, Nicola's a good friend as well. I sit on committees with her. And I'm absolutely delighted you were able to bring us together to work together. It was absolutely magic. It's exactly what we want to do. We want to do lots more of this. We've got such a big challenge in the country to lift people and educate people that the more we can do collaborations like this, the more, the more fun and the more impact we'll have. So you're visionary in Standard Bank. Shane, you're an absolute star. I mean, man, that is something else. How could you do that? And all your team there. And a great thanks to all my colleagues as well, um, Linda and everybody who's been involved with so many of you, I'm not going to even name you by, by name. They're a total privilege and um, we've learned so much and it's, we've got a huge sense of, of, I wouldn't say pride, I mean sort of deep satisfaction that we've been able to do this important work with you. And thanks for your leadership, Shane, and uh, thanks to my, all my colleagues at Gibbs as well. Wonderful. Let's do more. You know, that's not a pitch for more business, Shane. I'm just saying, let's do more of this stuff together. You know, thank you. Absolute gift to all of us and most particularly to the delegates and with incredible faculty, Milani, John Flismus, Charles Henderson, Nick Nadell, um, Mandy Labides did some, uh, Nikki Hello. Lowe with the horses, Lita Curry. I feel like I'm doing an Oscar speech. Who have I left out? <laughs> so heavily on the logistics being seamless yeah. on things just working in the background and getting the basics right and the unsung heroes are the, are the heroes in the background you know yeah. that just make things happen that ensure that you know if something goes wrong the delegates don't know and we as I'm, me I'm going to speak me as a person I'll let Teppo in his pink hat um, take accountability for the pressure he puts on people but we have put an inordinate amount of pressure on our um, our fellow uh, people in the background I'm going to call you people in the background with no disrespect but the heroes that make the make the basics brilliant and this is this program is absolutely successful because of the work that you put in to do that 
I mean, the briefings, the um, Lisa, I'll never forget in one of the launches when you said, bring your bag in a winning attitude. That was exactly it. You, you guys rock up there at five o'clock in the morning with a smile, making sure the delegates feel welcome. Jono, you were part of this from the, you know, from the inception. And it'd be huge enough, you know, there cannot be a huge enough thanks to you guys for doing that. And, you know, just to add on to what you're saying as well about our faculty, but in particularly Jenny and Leanne, I mean, I, I always get quite emotional when I speak about the impact that you guys make on this program. You hold our delegates with sincere care. You are the epitome of what it means to be human-centered. And when we, you would have seen that we've just, you know, launched our new, our new brand promise of It Can Be. If they had seen you in action since 2017 and since 2016 in the first iteration of it, you are the epitome of It Can Be. You bring out the best in the people around you and it is testament, um, this program's testament to what you've done for us, so thank you.